Hello, Ronan and Erwin. Welcome to the Floss booth at Euroluce in Milan. Uh, tell us something about your new project for Floss Vertical. So, as you can see around, uh, Vertical is a system. So, it's a system that uh, helps to do vertical lighting. So, it's like a long tube. You can add uh, component and component. So, you can go, f you start at two meters and you can go up when you've got. You're lucky to have an enormous room. So, and then there is a connection part, this one, that uh, allow to build uh, and to um, to link this tube uh, between each other. So it generates this triangle situation. It could generate uh, a more complex uh, situation, but uh, that's basically this module, and then. We add them uh, vertically, and then we can link these tubes together. And somehow it's a, it's a it's a it's a light which is not traditional, meaning often lights are pendant uh, that they come from the roof. So this one is more light to play inside corridors or in front of a wall, or just to activate some 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 part of home and environment uh, that usually. Uh, a little bit um, uh, on which you don't really find the, the solution. This one is speaking to walls and to the surroundings around. What is the ideal space where you would see these modules, do you, if there is one? I think it's interesting because here there is five different situations, but we can see that when it's just this line, you can imagine that in a small room it's, it's in the corner, so it it's uh, interesting the, the quantity of space it takes, it's very, very small. So I think it's interesting because it works from a very small place in the corner from somewhere to extraordinary situation uh, like in a church or, or probably in the corridor of an hotel uh, at the end of the long view. So it's extremely versatile in terms of uh, way to be uh, installed, I think, and type of place. I have another question. The, uh, uh, this cage that is covering the glass, what is its function exactly? Well, the, the, the goal of this project, and it will be probably the next step, is that it's supposed to be inside and outside. So this is linked to the language of uh, protecting uh, this very uh, subtle uh, blow glass piece by a sort of cage. So this is linked to the old memory of uh, uh, lantern link in a boat or things outside that needed to be uh, protected from the delicacy of the glass and then the, the cage that uh, protects it. But it, it also, some of the structure also exists in colored and when they are colored they become super interesting because it's anodized so it's, uh, it's the natural nature of the aluminium so it keeps a certain uh, reflection of the light and somehow with the colored one you have the impression that the, the structure is kind of uh, melting into the light and, and for me I don't know why it reminds me a lot of uh, glass work in church when you have all this colored glass uh, that goes uh, all together so also for the perfect place I don't know why I, I see it a lot in the, in the church. <laughs> uh, listen, this idea of endless replication of something is something quite constant in your works. Does it mean something deeper? I mean, uh, what's your vision of it? Well, I think, I think there is a, also a particular nature in floss. It's floss has an amazing level of, of detailing. So somehow, the endless is also taking part of all these tiny things that, that Floss is making so nicely. And somehow, endless start to, to make the object a little more composed of detail. And, and it's kind of engraving something inside it, a little bit like in a stamp, you know, you've got all the small things around. It just makes the object much more subtle somehow. So, of course, Repetition is a solution uh, because it helps to, to add the light, but also it's one 
a super interesting language, especially in the case of, of Floss, I think. You want to add, you want to add something? No, I, th I think, yes, since 20 years, we always think to find a principle that uh, help to find the exact good dimension for things. So, uh, and this is very important when you when you when you fix something on your on your roof that it's uh, the exact good dimension, the exact uh, elegance of things. So, the fact of module help to precisely uh, define the size of something in a place. Yeah. Now, your collaboration with Floss is now long-lasting. What do you enjoy most of working with Floss? Well, we can speak about Italy in general. I think this country is so skilled about uh, objects, about from the workers, uh, and it's a fact it flows so from the from the workers, people who assemble the piece, uh, the engineer, which are incredibly <laughs> efficient, and Piero, which is. Uh, uh, <laughs> An extraordinary, uh, I don't know how to describe him, but uh, <laughs> uh, so there is so much patience at all the stage that, right. uh, of course, you are immediately, uh, you feel important, you feel that uh, you're secure because there is a real uh, intelligent company behind it, so it's a, it's a big chance for us to work with Flos. Great, thank you so much and very best wishes, so thank you so much.